What's going on guys today? We are back with another Bellator ranking video now if you haven't seen the welterweight rankings I urge you to go check that video out It's interesting and it's worth discussing in the comment section below where you guys might think fighters are ranked in what I think is the best division in Bellator But nonetheless in today's video we move on to the featherweight division which is crowned at the top by Patricio Pitbull I'm excited to get into this top 15, and I urge everyone again, like the welterweight video, to engage in discussion in that comment section, and we'll all discuss where we think champion through 15, where do we think fighters fit, did I leave anyone out, all of the above is up for discussion, but let's, without further ado, get right into the video. Now, we obviously have the champion, Patricio Pitbull, who has dominated Bellator. You could argue that he's the best fighter outside of the UFC. He's on a five-fight win streak, and it includes not only the 145-pound title, but the 155-pound title against Michael Chandler. He is in the Featherweight Grand Prix, currently competing. And uh, he, he beat Juan Arcoleto, who is one of the best at featherweight. So Juan's no longer in it, but it's hard to not include Juan in this list extremely high because of his resume, but we'll get to that. Nonetheless, we have Patricio Pitbull, the world champion. Then we move straight to the arguably the best prospect outside of the UFC in AJ McKee. He is 16-0 and undefeated. All 16 fights in Bellator, showcasing his skills in 11 stoppage victories. He is my favorite fighter in the Bellator featherweight division, pairing style with personality. This guy is an extremely interesting guy to watch, both inside the octagon and interviews outside. Then we move to the number two ranked featherweight. In my opinion, I got Juan Arcoleta. He's 24-2. and two. He only has one loss in Bellator to the world champion. It's hard not to put him in there. You could probably say that he's number one, but just for the Grand Prix sake and just for sake of who is closer to a title, I would say AJ McKee is just on the edge of getting that world title shot and then maybe at by the end of 2020, it'll sort itself out and we'll have one at the number one contender spot. Then we have Darian Caldwell, who was formerly the bantamweight world champion, lost to Kyoji Haraguchi. But nonetheless, in this Grand Prix, has looked extremely impressive with his wins, stopping Adam Borks, who was an extremely um, intriguing and impressive prospect in the Bellator featherweight tournament. So it's, it was a great performance from him, and I'm super excited to see what happens in his fight with A.J. McKee. Then you have Emmanuel Sanchez also competing in the Grand Prix. Adam Borix, as I just mentioned, who was handed his first loss in his career at the hands of Darian Caldwell. Then you have Pedro Carvalho, then you have Daniel Weichel, then you have Derek Campos, then maybe controversially, because a lot of people know this guy's name, Henry Corrales, but it really only wins, only big wins over Aaron Pico, so I couldn't include him in my top eight um, fighters at featherweight, so he just rounds us out at number nine. Then you have Robert Whiteford, Sam Cecilla, Daniel Strauss, Pat Coran, Saul Rogers, and Georgie Karakani. Now, Georgie's one of the guys who's perfect to be number 15. He's kind of the gatekeeper to the top 15 for featherweight because he's gone up against so many guys in the top 15. I would say, if I was to argue, this would be their second best division. Um, weight class-wise, you could probably put it up against their lightweight division and have good arguments either way. But I think, in my opinion, this is the second best division that Bellator puts on. And I'm super interested in this Grand Prix. I'm super excited for all the matchups that we're going to see within 2020. But nonetheless, that's my 15 ranking. And again, like the last one, like the welterweight rankings, I want to hear from you guys in the comments section below. I want you to let me know who you think should be swapped around. Where do you think somebody should be? Did I leave somebody off the list? I feel like we're going to get a lot of discussion for number two and number one. But we will see. That is my top 16 Bellator featherweights. Let me know again in the comment section below what you think. That will wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to Combat Sports Central and turn notifications on. But that'll do it for me today, guys. Peace out.